On August 24, 79 AD, around 10 AM, a volcano that had been dormant for nearly 1,000 years suddenly erupted. Dark clouds of volcanic ash have already covered the entire sky. The temple is destroyed and the city is engulfed in flames. You can see horses running wild after dropping their owner, and a cow who lost its owner in the middle of the road in the distance. People each grab their precious things and scatter them in confusion, but the shadows of death and fear are already cast in their eyes. The Last Days of Pompeii is a large-scale historical painting by Karl Bryalov painted in the early 1830s. Paintings are also known for their work between neoclassicism, a style that dominated Russia at the time, and romanticism, which was increasingly popular in France. The statues toppling from their pedestals is a common symbol in romantic painting, which signifies the sublime power of nature over man. In particular, he used the neoclassical style like the techniques of Renaissance masters by referring to the School of Athens, but combined it with features found in romantic paintings such as dramatic coloration or contrast. The poses and figures were referenced from classical paintings or from people the artist knew. Objects, pavements and curbstones were drawn with reference to actual details of Pompeii seen in Naples ruins and museums. The soldier and the boy saving the old man may be derived from the myth of Aeneas, who rescued his father from the fall of Troy. The artist also painted a figure of himself running away with an art tool on his head among the people on the left. This painting made Karl Bryalov almost the first Russian painter to gain international reputation and showed that Russian art is just as good as other European art.